right now. Say that. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. It's time. Oh, it's time. First lady looking in the future. I'm so excited today because we have some very, very special guests today. We have Miss Billy Walker and Dr. Latasha Holden. I'd like to welcome you to our show. It's I'm wonderful that you all are here today. I'm glad to be here. I'm ready to get some things clicking. <laughs> We're going to have a great, great time today. I am so excited. We got, uh, we have Miss Billy Walker that's going to give us some information with regards to the Atlanta Children's Shelter. We're so excited because we're going to be working with some kids today. And it's been such a long time since we've uh, been on air. We've been dealing with the current pandemic, COVID-19. So keep everybody in your prayers as we're praying for you. The church ladies are praying for you. So we just, we're so appreciative to be back on the air. So uh, Miss Billy, we're going to let you take over and we're going to let you tell us a little bit about the Atlanta Children's Shelter. Well, first, I'd like to say hello to the young scholars Hi. at ACS. Good morning. <laughs> Good We're gonna morning. We're going to make some healthy treats today. Wonderful. Um, Atlanta Children's Shelter has been around for 33 years, wow. taking care of homeless families. Um, we serve the Atlanta population and abroad. We provide child care, social services. Oh, that's we wonderful. have our on-site nurse, nurse practitioner. We also provide mental health services and play therapy for the children. We pride ourselves on being an innovative company that's moving as the time goes on. Wow. We even preparing through, during COVID. We did virtual learning. We made a lot of upgrades to our center to keep the children safe. Wonderful. And we want to stay open. You know, we want to move wonderful. forward during the pandemic and keep everybody safe. Um, I can say the Atlanta Children's Shelter has not only, um, I've been a privilege to be employed with the agency, but my son is a current student, a past student. Wonderful. So he's now a senior, um, and he graduated this year during COVID. Oh, wonderful. And now, my son did, too. Mm -hmm. Now he goes to Georgia State. So. That's wonderful. My yeah. son, um, you know, it's, it's crazy. They were born um, during 9-11 and graduated right. in the pandemic. Oh, right. <laughs> and I say the evolution children. Yes, going to exactly. Help the world. They so, are. Um, one thing I can say is that I'm not only an employee there, but the agency changed my life. Wonderful. So it it's definitely lives through the impact. And the one proud thing I can say is my son beat the crisis. Like he, wow. he's he made it through. That is such so, a blessing. and I get to do it for other children. That's so. wonderful. You get to you're able to give back yeah. through your experience. That's amazing. Yeah. It's it's a great organization. We don't my, the agency I work for. I'm proud to say they don't talk the talk. They walk the walk. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. That's amazing. Well, that that that's an amazing story. What we're gonna do right now? We're gonna get ready for these healthy snacks. I'm hoping that the babies are ready. We're really really excited. <laughs> so we're gonna take a quick bake break, and when we come back. We're going to go ahead and get started with tortilla pizzas. Ah. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, kiddos, we are back, and I'm excited. I'm really excited, and I'm hungry, too. I oh, know. I'm really hungry. <laughs> so this is a really, really quick meal. This is a quick snack that, you know, the kiddos will love. I make this. I have a six-year-old. Hi, Zeta. <laughs> I make this for her all the time. So this is something that, you know, you can have a great deal of fun with, with the kids. It's really, really simple for anyone to make, even some of your teenagers, some of your older kids. They would love this snack as well. Okay, and we're making tortilla pizzas. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started. I'm going to tell you about our ingredients. You probably already have a lot of these ingredients at home, so it's really, really simple to make. And what we have, we have three uh, flours, uh, the small tortillas. It's really, really simple. We have about two cups of mozzarella. Um, and you can choose any toppings that you like. Uh, today we have sliced, we have turkey, and we also have mushrooms. Mushrooms are my favorite. Sometimes uh, my daughter and I, we make a lot of veggie tortilla pizzas and they're so simple they're really healthy because it's really the crust is really really thin and you know how like a lot of us who like that yes. thick crust and <laughs> you know it put uh, pounds on in places that we don't want to be in <laughs> but this is just a, a really healthy snack and you can also use the uh, wheat flour tortillas okay. as well that's an option as well we have a little pizza sauce as well as olive oil to um, give our uh, crust just a little moisture 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started because I'm I'm know about y'all, but I'm really yes. really hungry. Okay, so I'm gonna do the first one, and I'm gonna start with just like just maybe a half a teaspoon of the olive oil, and like I said, this is just to get the 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 pizza crust a little moist because you don't want to dry out once you're cooking it. It's really really simple, and your kids can do this. The kids can do this um, at home, or you know, with just a little supervision. And then this is also a great way to start teaching your child how to cook. So I really, really love this. So we're going to go ahead and start with just about a teaspoon of, of, tom of tomato sauce or marinara sauce, I should say. And just put just put just a little bit. And I like personally, I like a, lo a little bit more uh, tomato sauce, the marinara sauce on mine because I, I don't know. It's just I like sauce. <laughs> this is so simple. This is really, really simple. You can put as many toppings. You can put as um um, as much cheese, I love cheese. For you all that watch the Church Ladies Cooking Show, I'm always using cheese on something. But um, for the kids, this is really, really simple. I'm just going to take a few mushrooms and place them on top. And we already have our oven set at uh, 400 degrees because this only takes about maybe 10 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes tops. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let um, Dr. Holden go ahead and start okay. with hers. And I'm going to just switch places with okay. you. So you can go ahead and you can uh, make your own type of pizza. So you can customize your pizza if you like and as much as you like. And and if you like, even if you like, um, like my daughter, she loves, she loves green vegetables. So we do a lot of broccoli. We might do spinach. Um, so you can just put your own twist on whatever you like um, on your pizza. And this is just something when mom, when you get home and you don't feel like cooking, like, hey, you know, let's pop out a couple of tortillas. We got some leftover sauce. A lot of times I'll even use the spaghetti sauce that might be from your, your spaghetti or some leftover spaghetti. And this is something that's just really, really simple to make. Really, really simple to make. Cheese first, okay. And <laughs> topping on top. Exactly. Okay, okay. That looks really good. So, uh, Miss Billy, what do you like on your pizza? Um, I'll probably take a, some cheese and mushrooms and <laughs> maybe just a hint of the turkey. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right, good. that looks good. That looks that's really, good. really good. Okay. All right, I'm going to switch places with you. All right, this is turning out really, really good. Kids, what do you think? This looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> This looks really nice. I often have pizza for lunch, and I'm sure that's somebody's favorite. <laughs> I don't know too many kids that don't I like know. pizza or any type of pizza. So it, it's this. This is great. This is really great, especially when you have the control of making your own pizza or you know putting on the toppings that you like. And moms, uh, moms and dads, you know, again, this is something that. Hey, they can they can make on their own and you can just sit back and watch. You'll watch your child be creative. So this is just something that's really, really good. This is really, really good and it's tasty. And it's quite healthy. That looks great. And you see how you see how simple that was? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. Again, these take about maybe 10 minutes or until they're um, golden brown and bubbly. Uh, but I usually set the oven to about four to about four hundred degrees. Um, for them to cook. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to pop these in the oven and we'll be right back. We have something else that's going to be quite amazing for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hello kiddos and we are back and we have something amazing for you guys to make with us today but what we're going to do now we're going to talk to Dr. Latasha Holden. She has an amazing book that she's going to tell us about today. Hi, I'm Dr. Latarsha Holden, Georgia Mother of the Year for 2020. I definitely understand um, being homeless for ten and a half, the last 10 and a half years. My family went from being homeless. I was homeless in the streets of Atlanta with six children, so I went from being homeless to a political candidate in the 2017 election, from a GED to a doctorate degree, and became a 12 times published author. Oh, that's just such a blessing. That is a blessing. <sighs> God is awesome. Yes, yes. I tell you, if it wasn't for him, I don't know where we would Ooh, be. Don't so, have me running around this uh, I know, kitchen. Right? <laughs> so I have Ooh. the honor to read my first children's book that I had written to you guys. So I'm excited. It's called oh. Anna's Magic. Oh, that's wonderful. Pretty. Anne is very pretty with her long black hair and eyes like crystals that sparkle everywhere. 
When Anna moved to town, things changed. When people were always hungry, she turned grumpy. I must be hungry, guys. Did y'all see this? When people are always hungry. Okay, oh. this, you see this beautiful fruit laid out before me. Exactly. When people were always grumpy, she turned their frowns upside down. Awesome. <laughs> the kids began to whisper, who is this girl? Wherever she goes, things change and magically grows. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm new in town. I love to see people happy and not down. Then the town bully stepped up and said, we don't want you here. But Anna just smiled and her eyes began to sparkle and even old cow felt love, warmth, and cheer. All the kids were amazed. Anna continued to walk up the street and she noticed some kids looking sad. So she asked, why is everyone down? Then a little girl said, it's my party and we have no clown. As y'all see, I'm a, I'm a poet. <laughs> I've been writing poems since I was little, so I love the rhyming. Wow. But That's Anna great. knew what to do. She blinked her eyes, and balloons of all colors fell from the skies. The kids began to scream in excitement as they ran to grab a balloon. Then they waved to Anna and said, come back soon. Anna went home to grab a snack, and the phone rang. It was her friend, Nell, on the other end. Oh my, you don't sound well. Her friend had caught a cold and Anna could tell. I want to come over and bring you some tea, but father is at work. It's just Audrey and me. But Anna thought how she could bring her friend some cheer. She went outside and blinked her eyes and the prettiest of rainbows appeared in the skies. She told her friend to look out the window and the rainbow ended over her house, shining through her door. Her friend began to smile as she felt the love and warmth from Anna come miles away. She told her friend, Anna, thank you. When I get well, I'm coming over to play. After moving to the new town a year ago, her father told Anna her sister Audrey was time to move again. Anna understood because her father was a military chaplain. She knows their work includes being there for people and spreading cheer. So she told her friends on the last day of school that love, joy, and peace is the number one rule. And always remember to be nice and spread cheer to all people far and near. That's the end, boys that and girls. wonderful. Thank you. God bless you. That is wonderful. Well, thank you, Lee. Very, very inspirational. Very, very inspirational book. Um, we're going to make sure that we, um, we're going to make sure that, that book um, is available um, for you to go to your link. Do you have a link for this book? Well, all of my children's books, all of my books are available on Amazon. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to make sure that we put that link um, at the churchladies1.com, www.thechurchladies1.com. Make sure you go to our webpage to um, get that link for that book to make sure that we continue to support you. Awesome. That's amazing. Thank That's you. wonderful. So what we're going to do right now, kiddos, we're going to get ready for your, your fruit cars. So we're going to take a quick break. So when we come back, we're going to get ready. We're going to have those fruit cars waiting on you. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, kiddos, and we are back. You know, I'm really I'm, during the break. I was thinking about the um, the young males that um, are watching. This is something they're really going to enjoy because it resembles a race car. Okay. So they're really, really going to enjoy this. And girls, I haven't forgotten about you because you know our pizzas. That's like you know it takes me back to my childhood. You know we had the Easy Bake Oven oh, and yeah. we delivered oh, the pizzas yes. in the Easy Bake Oven. So hey, girls, I haven't forgotten about you. So you know our pizzas are in the oven. You know. Same concept with the Easy Bake Oven, so the girls will definitely enjoy this. Okay, so we had something for both of you today. Okay, so we're gonna, this is really, really quick and it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. And girls, don't think that you can't do it because you can make a car too. We can make a girly car. Okay. So <laughs> it goes both ways. So what we have here, we have some fruit and we're gonna assemble the cars. So kids, are you ready? Are you ready to assemble your cars? Give them a thumbs up. Great, great, great. Okay, so what we're going to start with, we're going to start with our bananas. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to peel. We're going to peel our bananas. Go ahead and start here. 
And make sure, kids, that you keep it intact. I'm going to go ahead and start. And this is really, really simple. Mama, like we're making a banana split. <laughs> Okay, and it is. It's, it's, it's a little similar to that as well, but it's, it's guys, it's so, so simple. Um, I'm going to ask you to just okay. grab a, a knife right there, okay. and we're going to cut down the middle. This is really, really simple. Okay, now, we, this is where you need just a little supervision from an adult because you're handling you're handling a sharp object. So what we're going to do, you're going to take your the top of your banana, and you're just going to make a small incision at the top, and this is going to be for your passengers. Okay. This is what we're going to use for the passengers. And this is really, really simple. So um, definitely, you make sure that you have a, a, an adult. Make sure you have an adult when you're using this. So we're going to pass this to Miss Billy. And this is something that's really, really simple. It's so much fun. I enjoy working with the kids and having something that's fun. And also, at the same time, it's super healthy. Who doesn't like fresh fruit? Like fresh fruit in the morning. This is something that you can do with the kids, like early morning when, you know, you're trying to get them to get motivated, get them some energy, and get them started. So this is a, a, a great idea. So now what we're going to do, we have four toothpicks. And these are this is what's gonna hold our wheels together. <laughs> so you're gonna take the side of your banana, and you're gonna, you guys, if you're following along, you're gonna put your toothpick on the. You're gonna take, take it and put it directly through. So it should look like this. You should have your toothpick directly through. Okay, the, the, that's gonna be on one end, and you take another toothpick, and you're gonna place it straight through the other end. So you should have two picks at the top and two picks at the bottom. It looks like my um, um, fruit car might need an alignment. I know, right? <laughs> it's a little outside. I got to fix that. Okay, kids, don't laugh at me. I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> okay, and this, this is it. What we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and assemble the car. So for, for, my, for my young men, what you can do, you can take either. We have strawberries and we also have kiwi. And I think I want, I think I want red wheels. So I'm going to use the strawberries for the red wheels. So what you're going to do, you're going to take one of the wheels and you're going to place a strawberry on as a wheel. If you can see that from the side, okay? And ladies, if you'd like to go ahead and start assembling as well, you can go ahead and choose um, either the kiwi or you can switch it up. You can have four different types of wheels. We've seen it before. so <laughs> Okay, and just go ahead and assemble each side. Each side of the wheel, and that's turning out, that looks great. And don't think that the toothpicks are going to show they're not. we got something else for that as well. So we're going to go ahead and assemble the, um, the back end as well. Okay. My wheels look a little funny, y'all. Please don't laugh at me. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How are the kids doing? You guys doing okay? Wonderful. Awesome. Okay, now, what type of car would you have without rims? We need some rims. So we're going to make some blueberry rims, okay? <laughs> so we're going to take some blueberries and we're going to place the blueberries on the edge of the wheels. And those are going to be your rims. Like I told you guys, mine need an alignment. I know. <laughs> so it's a little lopsided, but hey, this definitely works. I'm going to give you a couple of blueberries to work with. And you can use any type of fruit. This is just something that's really, really simple. Um, my wheel just fell off, so I need to go ahead and secure. <laughs> I need to go ahead and secure my ribs. But this is what we're looking like so far. We have a we, my car looks pretty good. <laughs> okay, now on top, you're gonna open. I think I used the wrong side of mine, so I'm gonna have to cut this side. Let's do that again. You're just gonna open just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And these look really, really good. These turn out very, very nice. So what you're going to do, you're going to take and put strawberries on top, and these are going to be your little passengers. And you can you can use any type of you can use any type of fruit. You can use maybe cantaloupe. You can use pineapple. You can use just about anything. But these fruit cars, they can be shaped any type of way that you like. So I'm putting strawberries. We're going to use strawberries today. Use a couple of small strawberries. You can um, put as many passengers as you like. Um, in your car. Okay. You guys have your, your passengers? <laughs> this turned out really, really it nice. Did. And I tell you, my um my wheels are falling off. <laughs> 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 Trying to keep it together. But this is the finished product. If I can oh, get my goodness. let's see. 
Let's do this. Let's, see. Let's try that again. Okay. All right. This is the finished product. Did that look amazing? Yes. You guys like that? Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. That turned out nice. Guys, what do you think? How'd your, how did your fruit cars turn out? Mine is ready to go racing. <laughs> <laughs> they served out really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed that. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take another break because we have some pizzas that I smell. They smell really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and take those out the oven. So make sure that you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Right back. <laughs> Hey kiddos, we are back and this kitchen smells so oh, good. It smells good. really, really good. And it took what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes. Just about 10 minutes. And guess what? This is our finished product. We have tortilla pizzas. Mm. They smell so good. This is so quick. Such a nice lunch little yes. snack or a healthy snack. Hey, and sometimes dinner. Mm. You know, my six year old Zeta, hey Zeta, she <laughs> loves this for it. She could probably eat this every day for dinner. But I am ready to taste. I don't know about you. Ladies, I am but too. I am ready to taste. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to scoop these up. And this is, who had this? Man, this is that's, my, that's my little flat. Okay. Your little flat. <laughs> that's all right. And you can, again, you can customize it any way that you like. I simply love this. This is quick for the kids, and I know the kids love this. So, oh, this was a little sticky, but you know what? We oh, we don't stop. <laughs> this is too much sauce, but you know what? Jesus is going to take care of that. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put that okay. to the side. Okay, and again, this is it's like a little personal pan pizza. You know, everybody can customize it the way they like. So, I don't know about you ladies, but, you know, I'm... I'm I'm going to use this, eat this by myself, so I'm not going to really need to cut it. Exactly. But I want you guys to, to definitely, you know, customize it, you know, be creative, you know, make sure that, the, you know, the kids are having a great time. And because, you know, they've been at home, we've been at home, you know, due to COVID-19. So definitely, this is something that, you know, is a creative project. Yes. And it's just something fun for the kids to do, as well as healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and dig in, okay. um, ladies, if you don't yes. mind. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It's always rewarding, it's fun. The kids are gonna love it. And you know what? You already have your dessert. You have your, your fruit race cars. So you got a nice, healthy dessert as well as a healthy, customized pizza that you can share with your children. And you know, they'll also have a great time. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, ladies? I think this, I think is, this is great. Awesome. What do you think, kids? Was it good, you guys? <laughs> Oh, we got a thumbs up. You know, that's always good when it comes from the kids. Yes. The kid tested, kid approved. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it. I'm, I want to thank you ladies for coming to help yes. us today. And thank you kids for tuning in. We really enjoyed having you. Thank you. Make sure that you all definitely come back to yes. um, visit us. And we'll make sure we have more recipes. This recipe and more can be found at the, uh, on the Church Ladies website. Go to www.thechurchladies1.com for more recipes and so much more. Again, I want to thank you, Dr. Holden and uh, Ms. Walker. I want to thank you and also thank the Atlanta Children's Shelter for making this possible. I want to thank you. Um, thank you again, and hopefully you all enjoyed it. I was really, really excited when um, I heard about this um, going on and all the rewards that are with it. So just thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure that you tune in for another episode of The Church Ladies. Go to our website at www.thechurchladies1.com. We can't wait to see you on the next Church Ladies Cooking Show. Bye, Chella. Bye, -bye. Bye Ava. <laughs> Bye, Shartavius. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later, guys. <laughs>